So there ended up being enough room to pull the engine out without removing the out drive. So now I have the boat motor out. It was super easy. There were four bolts holding it in and uh, you have to take off two washers that were on some of the bolts before it'll come out. I'm happy with my engine hoist. I got used for a hundred bucks and it was tall enough even though it was such a tall place to lift and now I'm going to be working on the engine and hopefully patching that up. Here I was uh, raising the out drive because I had lowered it for to pull the motor out. So the first thing I did, I took off the cover on the one side where the flywheel was because that's where the water was pouring out. And I found a soft plug that came out. And not only that, the soft plug had a mouse on it just stuck to the soft plug. Then I took off the flywheel and the adapter. I had to remove the starter partially to get the flywheel off. Then I drained the nasty sludge of water and oil mixed together. After this point, I just was testing different things just to try to figure out what was the problem why water was getting in the oil. Put the oil pan to clean everything up so I get all the white sludge out of there and clean up the strainer. I took off the manifold to test it and check a few things. It wasn't as helpful as I hoped, but I did uh, find out that the manifold seems to be okay according to my tests. Hopefully, the manifold isn't a problem. Um, after a while, I tested the block, uh, pressure testing it, and the, the freeze plug was a problem. I needed to uh, put in a new one and put it in with some sort of sealant because it was pitted. And after that, uh, here you can see the pressure going down. But after putting in a new one with some sealant, it held pressure just fine, and it showed me that the block is good, and I don't need to buy another I one. I just put in a new freeze plug with RTV. RT 